Thank you all for coming. I normally sit with you, and I do that because my legs are a little bit of a mess. But I can tell you this, about six months ago, I had an issue with my hip, and it got really a little bit better. In fact, it got tolerable. And then we went up the other day and dedicated the new Blue Bridge. And it, I really believe that my people purposely put my school in an area where I almost fell off of it multiple times. And since that time, now we've got my hip really cranking again. So forgive me for being right here with you. I want to do two or three things. This will be really short and sweet. I absolutely want to thank all the legislature for all the time, all your work, all the time away from your families, and absolutely the great work that you try and continue to do for this state. Now really and truly, we should give them all a big round of applause. Please do that. None of us really would have believed that now we're right at our anniversary of two years with this pandemic, would we? We would have never believed it. We would have never ever believed that today, that I've read today now a total of 6,550 names. It's terrible. It's beyond belief terrible. Also, and this is the very reason that I ask you to be here. None of us would really have ever imagined that just maybe, just maybe because of a madman and evil in the world, that we could possibly be on the brink of World War III. Now I want you to really pay close attention to me because I truly believe and not to make light of anything we're doing, anything we're doing in this building. But today, in the state of West Virginia, in this beautiful capital in Charleston, West Virginia, there is nothing, nothing that approaches the importance of what I'll be telling you and is what is going on in this world, period. Now, You know, I'm a big picture guy. And I don't come to you with frivolous stuff. I don't come to you every other day asking to talk to you or anything. When I come to you, I'm coming with the real deal. Now, I really believe that today we have a colossal problem in the world without any question. But with every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction all the time, is there not? Absolutely, there's opportunity as well. Right now, today, in the state of West Virginia, just tell the truth. You know, I'm always hung up on that. In the state of West Virginia, we have stood tall over and over and over. From a military standpoint, per capita wise, we are always leading the nation. We stood tall over and over, did we not? Now just think about this just for a second. Today, the very resources that we have, coal, oil, and gas, our fossil fuels, are now on the brink, really, of possibly preventing, if not saving, the world. Now, I would tell you all, many, many legislatures, just this. And I want you to pay really close attention to this. You know, I yearn for exactly what you yearn, yearn for. We want the most pristine waters and air. We absolutely want the best of the best of the best of the best. 
But I'm telling you, and you better listen to me, this day and time, and I don't mean this in a frivolous way, in any way, but today, today, whether it be nuclear, or hydrogen, or windmills, or solar panels, all of those we want to embrace, and I'm there, but they're the parsley around the size of the plate. The meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes are our gas, our oil, and our coal. And, and today, and today I would tell you to God above, don't ever forget that. Please don't forget that. Like it or not like it, but our coal and gas and oil and fossil fuel industries have been kicked right into you know what over and over and over. They saved and made this nation's bacon. And today they're called upon again to save the world, maybe. Energy 
thing has now become a weapon, has it not? I want you to know just this, and I'll be, I'll be quick, but I really believe that God above hears us, and he does not want a war. He does not want a maternity war blown all to pieces. He doesn't want kids blown all to pieces. He doesn't tolerate or want evil in all the world. You know, without any question, I know where God stands. God stands with Ukraine. And God stands with America. And God stands with West Virginia, too. Now, let me just end by just saying just this. Today, in the state of West Virginia, there is an opportunity beyond belief with our fossil fuels today. We can't screw it up. We can't screw it up. With every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Do we want to take advantage and be hogs? Of course not. Absolutely, I think that's the god awful thing in the world we could possibly do. But in our situation here in West Virginia, little old West Virginia, that the world, maybe not the world, but at least the Biden administration has kicked to the side in every way and tried to extinguish us. To extinguish us. Today, all of a sudden, the whole world's running through the streets saying, where's West Virginia? Where's West Virginia to save us? You as legislators have a gigantic role right now. Without any question, I would just end by saying just this. Why is it that America is afraid? America, America is afraid. Afraid maybe of a China or a Taliban in Afghanistan. Maybe Iran. Maybe, maybe those that would object to our southern border being a border. Maybe those that would object to crime that we would stop it. Why is America afraid? And I'm going to tell you, and honest to God, you can like it or not like it, Jim Justice is not going to be afraid. He's not going to be afraid. He's going to stand, just like I said just a minute ago, he's going to stand and try to make you knowledgeable, every last one of you, himself knowledgeable, the world knowledgeable, just how important and how good you really are. West Virginia, West Virginia of all places, it's time, it's time for West Virginia to be that beacon. It's time for the America to be the beacon. It's not time for us to be afraid anymore. It's time for us to leave. And no one wants to push buttons in the nuclear war. That would be absolutely frivolous to think that in every way. But absolutely, do you believe, do you believe in your heart today a man that is blowing up hospitals and schools and everything, is he going to stop? Is he going to stop? And if you don't believe he's going to stop, then by God, you need to do something about it, and you'd absolutely best better not be afraid. A bully, a bully only understands one thing. Today, this country needs to be energy independent in every single solitary way. starts right here, of all places, little old West Virginia, where we kicked our, we, the world or, or, the, or the, the, the green thinking people kicked and kicked and kicked. And you know what else? I'll tell you just this. God will give us time. He will give us time for the smart people of the world to solve the riddle. If there's truly climate change that needs to be adopted, he'll give us time. 
that poor hospital, those poor kids, they don't have time now, do they? There's a madman on the loose. Maybe, just maybe, a nuclear weapon will go off. We don't have time. Why in the world has it happened? It's happened out of weakness, and it's happened out of dependency. We do not need to be dependent on folks all around this world as far as energy. Energy is a weapon, and we best better realize it. The last thing I'd say to you is just this. A bully, a bully understands only one thing. That's all there is to it. A bully, if you ask the bully to stop, and he doesn't stop, in my opinion, you drill his ass. That's all there is to it. Thank y'all for coming and listening. The whole world, the whole world needs to hear West Virginia right now. Thank y'all.